Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see Science Volume Period of Class 7 Previous Year Paper 2023 Question Paper Set B. You can also find other Volume Period Papers of Class 7 in my channel and also the sample paper for the current year has been uploaded in my channel. I have given the playlist link in the description box, please do watch. And also the syllabus of this paper is given in sample paper video, you just have a look on this. And before going to the video, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. Let's move into the video now. The first section is science. Today we are going to see only the questions uh, part from science section. Okay. So the first part is logical reasoning. So the questions are given in the form of short videos. I'm just giving the link in the description box. Please check it out. So in this uh, section, you have 35 questions. So each carry one mark. Question number 11, in the arrangement, two identical steel bars, P and Q, are fixed, unheated, as shown in the given figure. On heating the bars, the following observations are made. The space between the bars decreases, matter contracts on heating. Length of the bar P increases while that of Q decreases. Metals are good conductor of heat. Which of the given observation is are correct? So, what is given in the in the figure? Two identical steel bars. Okay, two steel bars, namely P and Q, are fixed and heated as shown in the given figure. And the distance between these two steel bars are it's one centimeter. And both the steel bars are undergoes some heat, right? So what will happen? So we all know steel. You no, know, steel is a metal. Steel is a metal and metals are good conductor of heat. Metals are good conductor of heat. So when you heat the metal, what will happen? The metal will get expand. So according to the given figure, when you heat, heat the two metal bars, so the both the metal bars will get expand so if it expand means the gap between these two bars would get decrease would get decrease correct so just move on to the option the space between the bar decreases and metals are good conductors of heat so these two statements are correct only but what about the second statement matter contracts on heating no it will not contract it will relax or you can say it will expand so statement 2 is wrong then length of the bar p increases while that of q decreases definitely it is not true why because these two bars are identical no both are same material and both are in same length so definitely uh, the when the length of the bar p increases and the length of the queue also increases so it will not uh, happen like this so option 3 sorry statement 3 is also wrong so hence the answer is it's option b question number 12 the given figure represents the displacement time of graphs of two cars a p and q just go through the graph now read the given statement and select the option which currently identifies them as true and false ones so the first question is car q car q overtakes car p at t is equal to 9 second see here so by observing the graph at 6 seconds or from 6 seconds to 12 seconds so in between these time interval the car a p is at the rest so now the car q overtakes car p at 9 seconds so it is true because the car p is rest from 6 seconds to 12 seconds no and car q is overtaking the car p at 9 seconds only so it is true only then second one, both the cars P and Q are at rest between 
time interval 10 seconds to 12 seconds is it so see here yes we have find out for a p you know the car p is rest from the time interval 6 to 12 seconds in the same way car q is rest between 10 seconds to 12 seconds so hence both the cars are rest between the time 10 seconds and 12 seconds so this is also true then third one car q starts turning back at 14 seconds see after 12 seconds only the car is turning back right so it is given here here is it's turning back at t is equal to 14 seconds so no it is turning back at 12 seconds so car uh, statement 3 is false here then the last one is the average velocity of car p is 8 meter per second for the whole journey so what is the formula for average velocity so average velocity is equal to total displacement divided by total time what is the total displacement taken by the car p where it is finally reached the total displacement is it's 100 meter at what time interval it reached the 100 100 meter in 20 seconds so this is the total time right so the answer is it's 5 meter per second is the answer so this is the average velocity of car p so here it is given 8 meter no 8 meter per second so hence it is false so finally the answer is TTFF so what would be the answer here it's option C question number 13 a ball is falling with a constant velocity as shown in the given figure a camera is taking images of its motion at the rate of 12 images per second the speed of the ball is see here uh, in this figure now the distance up between each ball is x each ball is x hence the ball covers the ball covers four equal distance ball covers four equal distance which is equal to 4x how each uh, ball can cover equal distance because the ball is uh, falling with a constant velocity so while a ball is falling at a constant velocity the time interval no the time interval uh, between each ball is same time interval time interval between each ball is same therefore the ball covers same distance therefore the ball covers same distance in each time interval so this is the reason ball covers same distance in each time interval understand okay now the ball covers four equal distance 4x must be equal to 6 meter therefore x is equal to 6 by 4 which equals 3 by 2 meter so this is the distance right so we need to find what is the speed no so the formula is distance by time right formula for speed is its distance by time so now what what is the time so here it is given time taken time taken for 12 images no 12 images is equal to 1 second therefore time taken for 1 image is equal to 1 by 12 1 by 12 seconds now we'll substitute in the formula distance by time what is distance here it is 3 by 2 and time is 1 by 12 so now 3 by 2 into 
12 by 1. Just cancel out. The answer is it's 18 meter per second. Correct? So which is the answer here? It's option D. Question number 14. A bar magnet attracts an iron nail. Which one of the following figures best represents the possible observation? So let us assume it is a bar magnet. Okay. So in bar magnet, the magnetic force is very strong at the poles. That is at north pole and south pole. Where the magnetic, magnetic field or magnetic force, right? is very strong at the end of the poles very strong whereas the magnetic force in the middle of the magnetic force in the middle of the mag magnet is it's a very weak okay so according to this condition option b will be the uh, best representation for this uh, given question hence option b is the right one question number 15 in an experiment a wire is coiled around two iron bars pq and xy as shown in the given figure so here um, the iron bar is coiled with the uh, coiled with some wire so then we'll call it as uh, it's an electromagnet then we'll call it as an electromagnet and the question is we need to find the polarity of both the magnets so how to find the polarity of both the magnets so for this uh, we have going to use right hand thumb rule right hand thumb rule right so in right hand thumb rule your curl fingers no your curl fingers will show the direction of flow of current will show the direction of flow of current whereas your thumb no your thumb will represents the north end of the electromagnet so in this given figure which is the north end of of the electromagnets both the magnets so just apply yourself so when you apply the right hand thumb rule your thumb will point to the right of electromagnet at the same time your thumb will point to the left side of the electro uh, second electromagnet which is the bottom electromagnet no it will point to the left hand side let me tell you so this is left this is right this is left and this is right so when you hold uh, when you apply the right hand thumb rule uh, for the uh, electromagnet uh, PQ let us take uh, the electromagnet PQ if you apply the thumb rule your uh, right hand thumb rule your thumb will pointing to the right hand side of first electromagnet at the same time it will represent the left hand side of the second electromagnet right so where in which direction your thumb represents that side is the north end of the electromagnet and q is north and p is south here here x is north and y is south here correct so the answer is it's option b version number 16 a light ray travels from medium 1 to medium 3 as shown in the given figure uh, the descending order of mediums uh, refractive indices see in this question the refraction of light from medium 1 to medium 3 is given so we need to find what is the refractive index so before that when do the refraction occurs right when do the refraction occurs so the refract refraction occurs when the speed of light changes when the speed of light ray changes so here we have two condition for refraction right the first condition is when the light ray travels from denser to rarer medium. Denser to rarer medium. So when the light travels from denser to rarer medium, 
it bends away from the normal it bends away from normal the second case is when the light travels from rarer to denser medium here the light ray bends towards the normal towards the normal so now we'll move on to the question here the medium one no let's draw the normal here this is the normal and this part is angle of incidence right that is that other the whole ray we can say it is an incident ray that is angle of incidence right now here the light ray is a bends away from the normal you can see here no see then i will zoom zoom it and so show you see here let me draw the normal here right see this is the angle of refraction so here the refracted ray is going away from the normal it's going away from the normal which means medium 1 is denser whereas medium 2 is rarer medium that's why the ray is the light ray is a bend away from the normal so in if in denser medium the refractive refractive index of denser medium is always greater than the refractive index of rarer medium that's all which means refractive we can represent the refractive index in the symbol of mu so refractive index of medium 1 is greater than refractive index of medium 2 that's all right so th that's all about the medium 1 and medium 2 next we'll move on to the medium 2 to medium 3 okay so what you can observe in medium 2 and medium 3 here some internal they had the right ray it's not refracted it it just reflected it's re reflected internally that means internal reflection has been taken place here between medium 2 and medium 3 what is happening yes when the light traveling in a denser medium to rarer medium when a light travel from denser to rarer medium denser to rarer medium the angle of incidence angle of incidence is a greater than critical angle greater than critical angle that time the light ray is a totally reflected back that time the light ray is totally reflected back into the denser medium this is what happened here into the denser medium so what is critical angle here what is critical angle here the angle of incidence for which the angle of refraction is 90 degree see for example let me draw the normal here this is the angle of incidence no so this angle of incidence for which the angle of refraction it's 90 degree here you, you will be getting 90 degree here also 90 degree so that angle is called critical angle so when the critical angle or when the angle of incidence is greater than the angle of angle of critical angle is greater than the critical angle then the light ray is totally reflected back into the denser medium correct so we need to find whether uh, whether the medium 2 is denser or rarer that's all about the question right no need to uh, deep analyze about the what is critical angle and why it is happening like that that and all no need right so whenever the angle of incidence is, is greater than the critical angle the light ray will be internally reflected into the same medium that's all so what we are observing from this uh, question it's again the medium 2 is it's denser medium 2 is denser 
medium two is denser than medium three. Medium three, which means medium three is rarer. Correct. So again, refractive index of M two is greater than refractive index of M three. So just now I told you, no. The refractive index of denser medium is always greater than the refractive index of uh, rarer medium, right? So it's the same case. So finally, the answer is the answer is refractive index of medium one is greater than medium two, and the refractive index of medium two is greater than medium three. So we have to arrange them in a descending order of med. refractive index means which will come medium 1 will come first and then 2 and then 3 so the answer is it's option b question number 17 read the given statements and select the correct option statement 1 when an object is placed between two plane mirrors then all the images formed are of equal intensity statement 2 when an object is placed in between two plane parallel mirrors only three images are possible see let me explain this first Let us assume this is one plane mirror A and another plane mirror B. So an image, an object is placed in between the parallel, sorry, in between the two plane mirrors. Now what will happen? This is object, right? Now what what will happen? Yes, when an object is placed between two plane, a parallel mirrors or two plane mirrors, whatever it is, right? The image of the object, image of the object, will be formed in both the mirrors. In both the mirrors. on both sides of the object right again these images no again these images will act as objects most important thing act as object for opposite mirrors act as object for opposite mirrors and a form another image and form another image so if this process is happening continuously what will happen an infinite number of images infinite number okay infinite number of images will be formed will be formed on both sides of the object both sides of the object hence the plane mirror forms an image of equal intensity in every reflection in every reflection so all the images are formed will be of equal intensity which means the statement 1 is true here what about the statement 2 when an object is placed in between two plane parallel mirrors only three images are possible no that's what we have seen now if an object is placed in between the plane mirror the image will be formed on both the sides of the mirrors again that image will act as an object to the opposite mirror and it will create another image so this will this will create simultaneously this will goes on so this will make a uh, make or this will create an infinite number of image not only three images it will create infinite number of images on both sides of the object and statement two is false so what is your answer it's option c question number 18 a thermometer registers a temperature reading of minus 1 degree celsius when placed in a bowl of pure melting ice it registers a temperature reading of 99 degrees celsius when when being placed in pure steam a student then uses 
it to measure the temperature of a cup of water so the temperature of the water measured by the student is 1 degree celsius higher than the true temperature the same as the true true temperature or 1 degree celsius lower than the true temperature or 3 degree celsius higher than the true temperature in this question the uh, the thermometer registers the temperature of minus 1 degree celsius when it is placed in a pure uh, bowl of pure melting ice so what is the melting point of ice it's 0 degree celsius no but the temperature uh, in the thermometer it's registered minus 1 degree celsius in the same way again it registering a temperature 99 degree celsius when being placed in a pure steam so pure steam means boiling water or steam whatever it is uh, both the uh, both the temperature is the boiling point of uh, the steam is it's 100 degree celsius so instead of showing uh, showing 100 degree celsius it is just uh, showing just 90 degree celsius which means it's showing 1 degree celsius less than the true temperature in previous one also melting melting point of ice is at 0 degree celsius again it's showing 1 degree less than the true temperature so obviously when a student uh, it's placing this uh, thermometer in a cup of water what does the temperature will be show is it will be 1 degree celsius lower than the true temperature hence option c is the right one Question number 19, four identical bulbs are connected through two combinations as shown in the given diagrams 1 and 2. Which of the following statement is are correct? First statement is the light bulbs in the diagram 2 are dimmer. The light bulbs in the diagram 1 are dimmer. The light bulbs in the diagram 1 will not light up and all the bulbs all the light bulbs in both the diagrams 1 and 2 have equal brightness right see so just go through the arrangement in both the figures here the arrangement of light bulbs in both the diagrams are same since it is connected in parallel uh, so parallel combination all the bulbs and there is no uh, there is no difference between the connection of uh, bulbs in both the diagrams since all the light bulbs will have the same brightness hence the answer is it's option d all the light bulbs in both the diagrams one and to have a equal brightness the answer is it's option so the question is uh, which of the following is incorrect no so your answer is it's option d question number 20 read the given statements carefully and select the correct option Statement 1, in case of an electric cell, the chemical energy is converted into electrical energy. Yes, it is true. The second statement is, when positive and negative terminals of a given number of cells are connected uh, together separately, they are said to be in series combination. See, we have n number of cells. In this, the positive terminals are connected separately and all the negative terminals are connected terminately. So this means if you if we connect the positive terminals separately and if we connect the negative terminals separately then we will call that combination or that connection is called parallel connection parallel connection okay so when when the series combination is possible or series uh, connection is possible yes the negative terminal of one cell is connected to positive terminal of the next cell. Okay. So in this connection only it is this a series combination is possible. But in this given point if we connect the, all the positive terminals separately and all the negative terminals separately this will create a parallel connection or parallel combination so hence uh, which statements are correct here it's option a only one is correct question number 21 select the correct match of the mixtures and their methods of separation option a sand and crust sugar by hand picking method so sand and uh, crust sugar are in the form of powder format so we cannot be able to uh, separate these mixture using hand picking so statement uh, sorry option a is wrong then toothpicks and alpins by using a magnet. 
so alpen is a metal so metal is a magnetic material no it will attract towards magnet and whereas toothpick is a non magnetic uh, non magnetic material so we can separate the toothpick and alpens by using a magnet so this is correct naphthalene powder and salt um here it is given by given it's sieving process right so naphthalene powder and salt can be separated using the method of sublimation sublimation okay so option c is also wrong here and pebbles and pulses uh, both are um, you can easily um, uh, separate using hand picking method here it, they have given its filtration so pebbles and pulses uh, are separated using the process called hand picking method right so option d is also wrong so the question is which is the correct match of the mixtures no option b is the right one Question number twenty-two. Mr. Ashok, a science teacher, demonstrated the effect of methyl orange indicator on the following solutions. Of which of the following options currently shows the color change in all these test tubes? See, methyl orange indicator. No. When you put methyl orange indicator in acid, it will turn into red color. Whereas, when you put the methyl orange indicator in basic solution it will turn into yellow color whereas if you put the methyl orange indicator in neutral solution whereas the ph value is equal to 7 neutral solution in the sense ph is equal to 7 there will be no change of color no change of color So, which of the following solutions correctly shows the color change in all the test tube? Amla juice, right? So, amla juice is an acid, acidic solution, detergent solution. It's a um, detergent solution means what? Uh, it it is a basic solution. Then soda water is acidic in nature. Whereas sodium chloride, it NaCl, no? It is a neutral solution. neutral solution so when you add methyl orange indicator on these solutions first one turns to red and second one it's a basic solution it will turns to yellow and again it will turns to red and here there will be no change of color so what could be the answer here it's option c number 23 reka grouped it together a few common substances on the basis of their property mentioned mention in brackets so the question is the odd ones in the group p q and r are respectively in the group p we have rubber band wooden block plastic ball safety pin so she has categorized as magnetic and non magnetic so whereas rubber band wooden block wooden block and plastic ball are all non magnetic whereas safety pin is a magnetic material so this is the odd one out and q was a uh, kerosene glycerin coconut oil diesel so we have to um split into miscibility and immiscibility in water see kerosene coconut oil and diesel are are immiscibility in water whereas glycerin is miscible in water then question number uh, statement r is a paper wood cotton steel we have to categorize into lustrous and non lustrous whereas paper wood and cotton all are non lustrous whereas steel is lustrous hence the answer is it's option c question number 24 which of the following statement is correct about the given changes statement 1 beating aluminium to make aluminium foil statement 2 cutting a log of wood into pieces and statement 3 heating an iron nail till red hot and last one is crystallization of pure copper sulfate crystals from an impure sample so the option is uh which uh, statements will undergo a chemical changes or a physical change see uh, in the first statement no the beating aluminium to make aluminium coil so this is a physical change this process is a physical change here uh in if, if it is a chemical change means there will be a new substance should be formed this is called chemical change a new substance or new product has to be formed 
that is called all the chemical change what is new substance is a new molecular combination new molecular combination has to be formed new molecular combination has to be formed but here we are just beating the aluminium to make aluminium foil so the molecular uh, composition of uh, aluminium and the molecular composition of aluminium foil both are same only so we are not getting any new product here or new substance here hence we can say it is a physical change and also this is a reversible process also but in chemical change the process cannot be reversible so here the river it is a reversible process and second one is cutting a log of wood into pieces we are just cutting the log of wood into pieces right their shape is only is changing we are not getting any new product here and the molecular composition of wood is not at all changing whether you are cutting into pieces also so here again there is a physical change is happening then heating an iron nail till red hot so while heating iron nail whether you will be getting any new product no it will uh, no we will not get we will not be getting any new product hence the molecular combination or composition of the particular iron nail is won't be changed when you heat and this uh, process can it is also a reversible process again this is a physical change the last one is crystallization of pure copper uh, sulfate crystals uh, from an impure sample we are just doing a crystallization process so here we are not uh, either by heating and afterward um, either by heating or by using a filtration method uh, we can able to uh, separate this impure sample uh, from the so we can separate a pure copper sulfate uh, crystals from an impure sample so here there is no chemical changes happening hence uh, we can say the last one is also a physical change right so all the given four statements undergoes only physical change not a chemical change hence the answer is its option c number 25 select the correct statement a wasp stink uh, consist of a formic acid that can be neutralized by rubbing magnesium oxide then second one is ammonium chloride is an acidic salt uh, while sodium acetate is a basic salt then third one is the tarnished surface of copper articles can be treated by rubbing lemon on them if the soil becomes too acidic then organic matter is added to the soil which releases a basis on decomposition so now we have some option in this so now we'll move on to the question a wasp sting cons consists of formic acid that can be neutralized uh, by rubbing magnesium hydroxide here the magnesium hydroxide is uh, a basic in nature so what about whether the wasp sting consists of formic acid no it it consists of uh, the wasp sting is it's basic in nature that is it is alkali it's not uh, the, the the wasp thing is not an acidic in nature so it is uh, the given statement here is it's wrong so this is incorrect one and ammonium chloride is an acidic salt whereas uh, sodium acetate is also a basic salt so this is true and the tarnished surface of copper articles can be treated by rubbing a lemon on them yes absolutely uh, the surface of copper articles no that is what is there what is there it's a basic copper carbonate is, is there copper carbonate the layer which is formed on the copper is it's copper carbonate it is uh, it is basic in nature so in order to neutralize the effect we should add some acid acidic uh, acidic property that is lemon contains citric acid lemon contain citric acid so this will neutralize the basic uh, uh, copper carbonate and dissolves a layer so that uh, the copper vessels will be uh, very luster no so because of this uh, by cleaning with the lemon juice or tamarind juice uh, the surface of the copper vessel is very luster so this is the reason so here we are neutralizing the effect um, effect by adding a citric acid to the basic uh, copper carbonate so this is true then second one is if the soil becomes too acidic then organic matter is added to the soil which releases a basis on decomposition See, actually, the organic matter is nothing but what, either it is manure or compost. So, do they release uh, basic? No, manure and compost release some acids. Release some acid. So, in order, in order to 
uh, neutralize the effect of uh, this acidic nature in the soil we should add uh, we should add some basic substances we should add some basic substances but here they are giving they are adding organic matter organic matter release acidic substances only so hence option uh, statement 4 is also wrong so in order to uh, if the soil becomes too acidic means we have to add some basic substances whereas organic matter is will not release any basic substance they are acidic in nature so statement 4 is also wrong hence the answer is it's option b question number 26 the given table indicates the classification of different materials based on their properties which of the following sets are incorrectly matched uh, the column is uh, hard, transparent and sinks in water. Some materials are given over here. Set 1, wooden block is hard, yes. Then air is transparent, gold coin will sink in water. So set 1 is correct. Second one, sponge is hard, no, sponge is soft. So if one part of the statement is wrong, no. So no need to check the remaining one. Then we'll move on to the next one. Iron ale is hard substances whereas frosted glass is a translucent partially the light will pass okay so it's a translucent material this is wrong so if one part is wrong no so no need to check the remaining then move on to the next one cotton ball is hot cotton ball is soft so no, no need to check the remaining one so the answer is which of the following sets are correctly matched set two three four all the three are incorrectly matched here hence option b is the right one Question number 27, which of the following statement is are correct? The first one, a manure formation from leaves is a chemical change. So first, what do you mean by chemical change? See, if, if any reactions, if undergoes any chemical process or chemical reaction, okay? If any reactions would undergo any chemical process or chemical reaction, there, if you are getting any new substances, in this chemical process with a new chemical with a new chemical composition with a new chemical composition then we can say there is some chemical changes has been happened right so here a manure is formed from leaves it's it's definitely a chemical change so this is correct Second one is chemically iron and the rest are same, which means the chemical composition of iron and rest are same. No, the chemical composition of iron is tot it's different from the rest because rest, no, we have it, we have hydrated iron oxide. Hydrated iron oxide. So the chemical composition of iron oxide and iron both are different here. Uh, here it is given as same so this is wrong then breakdown of ozone to oxygen is a chemical change it's definitely chemical composition of ozone is different from the chemical composition of oxygen so again there is a chemical change has happened so this is also wrong uh, correct one then zinc countered iron pipes rust easily no generally uh, to prevent the to prevent the rusting in iron will be apply some zinc okay so zinc coated iron pipes do not rust easily to prevent the rust from the iron we will apply zinc so this statement is wrong so which are all the correct statement one and three so your answer is it's option b question number 28 during a group discussion on the topic rusting four students neha kritika avantika and sachin gave the following statements and the question is the correct statement were given by so neha says the salty water makes the process of rusting faster Yes, the salt water makes the process of rusting faster on iron. So this statement is true. Then Kritika, the process of depositing a layer of carbon on iron is known as galvanization. So first, what is galvanization? Yes, galvanization is nothing but the process of coating iron or steel. Coating iron or steel. with a thin zinc layer thin zinc layer is known as galvanization which means we are applying some protective zinc layer 
on iron or steel metal to prevent the rusting right so kritika is wrong then avantika says applying a coat of paint on an iron article cannot prevent rusting no see in the first statement in the previous statement what we have uh, what we have said the galvanization is the process of painting some thin a zinc layer on iron or steel to prevent the rusting so applying a coat of paint on an iron it will prevent the rusting so it is uh, avantika said it cannot prevent the rusting so this statement is also wrong then sachin for rusting the process of both oxygen and water is essential absolutely so rusting uh, happens uh, due to the presence of air and moisture only so sachin also the statement which is given by sachin is also correct so finally the answer is it's option a neha and sachin question number 29 x type of organisms get their nutrition from dead and decaying organic matter which of the following can be x options are yeast mushroom bread mold see actually uh, organism called fungi you know so which will get their nutrition from dead and decaying organic matter whereas yeast mushroom bread mold all are will come under the fungi kingdom only right kingdom of fungi so hence the answer is it's option d all of this question number 30 which of the following adaptation is not shown by camel option a it's long eye lashes option b thick layer of subcutaneous subcutaneous fat and hump at the back to store fat excretes a very little water in the form of urine so which of the following adaptation is not shown by camel is it's option b thick layer of subcutaneous fat it's option b so this thick layer of uh, fat can be found in the animals where which uh, where uh, they live in a polar habitat right so that type of uh, animals only will be having like a thick layer of fat so whereas camel don't have like this hence option b is the right one then question number 31 refer to the given food chain showing flow of energy so the question is select the correct statement regarding p q r and s yes. the first one s helps in cleaning of environment as well as recycling of nutrients the role of q comes when plants and animals die p operates at all levels of food chain and r eats other animals and gets its food directly indirectly from p question number 31 refer to the given food chain showing flow of energy so here the food chain is given energy source is nothing but sun and p could be the producer that is plants and q is primary consumer and r is secondary consumer r is secondary consumer then what is s here just look down the carefully for the given uh, given food chain see p is connected to s what does it mean yes if if or when the plants die they become the food for the decomposers d decomposers so s is not a territory consumer s is a decomposer here so who are all the decomposers in food chain the organisms like bacteria bacteria and fungi and some earthworms also so what they will do yes it will break down the what the decomposers will do it will break down the waste and dead organisms so when the plants die it will be eaten by it will be break down by the decomposers like bacteria and fungi that's what they have given the aura mark like this so s is decomposer p is producers and q is primary consumers that are herbivores and r is secondary consumer we can we can call it them call them as it's a carnivores so s is decomposer right then you can see no q is connected to s why q is a primary consumer they are herbivores when the animals die again it is uh, again the dead animals become food for the decomposers like a bacteria and fungi so this is what the flow chart is given here now we'll move on to the option uh, statements s helps in cleaning of environment as well as recycling of uh, nutrients absolutely the dead decomposes the main function of uh, decomposer is it's recycling the dead plants and animals into a chemical nutrients so this is true then the role of q comes when plants and die no the role of s yes only comes when plants and die that is the role of uh, role of s yes means what it is decomposer the role of uh, decomposers will be operated in all the levels 
all the levels of food chain so this is wrong then p operate at all levels of food chain again it is wrong because p is just a producer right so it will not operate at all levels of food chain decomposer is only thing it will operate at all levels of food chain and last one is r eat other animals r eat other animals yes r is a carnivores it would eat other animals say for example it would eat the primary consumers and gets its food indirectly from p yes if p is not there then the primary consumer will not be there no so definitely r is indirectly depends on p only so statement 4 is correct finally the answer is it's option a question number 32 select the incorrect match bronchitis inflammation of bronchi emphysema infection in trachea flu infection of nose and throat a bronchial asthma allergic reaction to foreign substances that affect respiratory tract tract so which is incorrect over here it's emphysema that is the emphysema would caused by the breakdown of thin walls in alveoli breakdown of thin walls of alveoli okay so infection in trachea it's no infection in alveoli would cause emphysema so option b is the incorrectly match here number 33 maki took a small amount of crushed food sample a p in a test test tube and added benedic solution to it she then heated to food sample and observed that the color of food sample changes to red the food sample p could be so for what purpose we are using a benedic solution to test is yes, in order to find out the presence of sugars or presence of simple carbohydrates will be using this benedic solution presence of sugar reduced sugars they will be saying or a simple carbohydrate carbohydrate right so if if any uh, substance any food substances which contains rich in sugar or rich in uh, carbohydrate uh, the benedic solutions will be changed into a red color the food sample will be changed into red color right so now we'll move on to the option apple apple is rich in sugar whereas cheese rich in protein and butter rich in fats and black gram also rich in protein right so what could be the food sample yes it's it must be an apple question number 34 read the given statement and select the option that currently fills in the blank dash is the coldest layer in its atmosphere options are stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and troposphere so mesosphere is no it is a third it it is the third highest layer of our atmosphere so when the temperature when the when the altitude is become high obviously the temperature would go low right so hence the mesosphere a layer is the very coldest layer in its atmosphere option b is the right one question number 35 which among the following is uh, the post fertilization events options are transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma formation of malgametes inside the pollen grains formation of fruit from the ripened ovary and germination of pollen tubes from pollen grains so which are the post fertilization event here it's option 3 only the formation of fruit from the ripened ovary question number 36 of which among the given statement is correct regarding the plant shown in the given figure so first what is a plant here yes it is a picture plant it is a picture plant or we can call it as a insectivorous plant right insect picture plant is called as is known as insectivorous plants so here the leaf is modified into a picture like structure to trap the insect right the leaf is modified modified into a picture picture like structure to trap the insects so now we'll move on to the option leaves of this plants are modified to reduce water loss of loss from plant and buds that grow on the leaf of this plant can grow into a new plant leaves of this plants are modified to trap insects to fulfill the nitrogen demand of the plant and leaves of this plant store extra food and are eaten as vegetables so just now i told you now the leaf is the modified uh, into a picture like structure to trap the insects so to fulfill the nitrogen demand of the plant its option c is the right one
Question number 37, refer to the given table and select the options that currently identifies P, Q and R. In table, place of digestion, enzyme and digestion activity is given. Enzyme lipase. So where do you find this enzyme lipase? And its function is change fats into fatty acid and glycerol. Glycerol. So a lipase enzyme you can find out in small intestine. In small intestine. Then in mouth, which enzyme helps to change starch to sugar? It is salivary amylase. It is salivary amylase. And the third one is uh, stomach. In stomach, we have a pepsin enzyme. So what is the purpose of pepsin enzyme? It will break proteins. It will break proteins into peptones. Peptones, right. So hence the answer is, it's option A. Sheet number 38, select the incorrect match of mineral and its sources. Iron, uh, the source of iron is from dates, green vegetables and source of calcium from milk and cheese. Source of potassium is from meat and banana and source of iodine is from citrus fruits or honey. So which is the incorrect match over here? It's option D, iodine. So the main, the iodine mineral mainly can be found in, in fish and in salt. Right. So hence mainly in seafoods we can able to find the iodine, right? So hence the answer is it's option D is incorrectly matched here. Sheet number 39, which among the given plants are mostly pollinated by insects or wheat? So mostly weeds are pollinated by wind only. And Jostera pollinated uh, by, I think it is uh, pollinated by, yes, it's through water. And Acacia and Bougainvillea, you know, these are all pollinated by insects. And Mace. Mace is pollinated by wind and mimosa. Mimosa is pollinated by insects. So the answer is it's option B. Question number 40. Select the incorrect characteristics regarding adaptation in birds. Options are exoskeleton is made up of tough but light materials called chitin. Bird covered with the feathers, sorry, body covered with the feathers, hollow and light bones, and streamlined body. So, which is the incorrect characteristics? It's obviously option A is because birds do not have exoskeleton, they have endoskeleton and it is very light material, is made up of chitin. So, this first one is wrong and the birds of the body is covered with uh, feathers, correct? And this exoskeleton, no, Ex uh, sorry, endoskeleton, no, it's made up of light and hollow bones because uh, bo uh, birds don't have exoskeleton, they have endoskeletons and it is made up of light and hollow bones and it is covered with some feathers. The body is covered with feathers and the streamlined body you know which helps the which helps the birds to move easily in air move easily in air so option b c and d are correct and whereas e is incorrect one then 41 question number 41 select the incorrect match amoeba tracheal reciprocation salmon branchial reciprocation earthworm cutaneous reciprocation and penguin pulmonary reciprocation uh, so here, which is the incorrect match? It's amoeba, no? So amoeba is a unicellular organism. Unicellular organisms. Where the exchange of gas takes place through the cell membrane only. Using, um, through the process of diffusion. They don't have any tracheal reciprocation. So, yeah, for example, if we take an example means insects, insects have tracheal reciprocation, okay? So amoeba is an unicellular organism. They don't have, have any tracheal uh, reciprocation from it. They do exchange of gases uh, through cell membrane uh, through the process of diffusion only. So option A is incorrect. Question number 42. Refer to the given figures. Identify X, Z and select the incorrect statement regarding them. So what is given here? It's different types of uh, blood cells are given here. X is platelets. X is platelets and Y is RBC and Z is WBC, white blood cells. So options are X, Y and Z are known as thrombocytes, erythrocytes and leukocytes. It is true. 
the next help in clotting of the blood its platelets would help us to in uh, helps in the process of clotting of the blood when we get a wound on the body so this is also true then why help to transport oxygen so which cell will transport oxygen to the to the all over the parts of the body obviously it's red blood cells so this is correct because why is rbc no then last one is it contain hemoglobin whether which is is it here wbc whether wbc contains hemoglobin no absolutely wrong rbc no rbc rbc cells contains hemoglobin hemoglobin is nothing but a pigment called pigment which is in red color that's why our blood is in red color right then granules in their cytoplasm actually as uh, the first part itself wrong no so no need to check the remaining one anyhow wbc have two types one is granulocytes another one is agranulocytes so this granules is stored in granulocytes not in cytoplasm so anyhow the option d is is the incorrect one so this is our answer question number 43 select the incorrect statement chlorine from cfcs when it reaches ozone layer splits ozone to form oxygen uv radiation that reaches the earth from sun can cause serious problems like skin cancer and cataract smoke and harmful gases along with the condensed water vapor uh, form smog in winters and option d is it's none of this see actually all the three statements which are given over here is the right one so we don't have any incorrect statement hence option d is the right number 44 refer to the venn diagram and select the incorrect statement regarding x and y so x is majorly found in the leaf uh, found in the leaf of the plant and the part of the plant that helps in respiration that is x and what is y here y is a part of the plant that helps in respiration and found in the bark of the stem okay now what is x and uh, y it's majorly found in leaf of the plant and helps the plant in respiration is its tomato its tomato its tomato right and again the plant again y is helps in respiration but it found in the not in the leaf it is found in the bark of the stem that is called lenticels okay so now which of the statement is incorrect regarding x and y and x also helps in transpiration in plants absolutely there is a loss of what is happening um, happening through stomato so this would leads the transpiration in plants so x is correct and y is also found on the skin of uh, fruits this is also true then statement c is a stomato stomata is surrounded by god cells yes the stomata is surrounded by god cells where the god cells will expand and shrink will expand and shrink when the flow of water is in and out of the cell right so the stomata is uh, it's protected or bounded between the two god cells whenever the stomata is open and close the god cell will expand or shrink which allows the water flow which allows the water in and out of the cell so this is also correct then last one is x and y open and close due to the flow of water in and out of the cell actually stomata will will open will open and close while the flow of water if there is no flow of water it will be closed when the flow of water is in it will open but the lenticels know it will opens at all the time in all the time it will open so option d is incorrect one since the answer is it's option d number 45 select the incorrect statement options are the position of left kidney is light a uh, light little higher, higher than the right kidney in human god body it is true urinary bladder is situated in the pelvic region of the abdominal cavity of humans this is also correct then presence of excessive water in urine indicates diabetes mellitus now this indicates diabetes insipidus then last one is ammonia is a nitrogenous waste uh, formed from the breakdown of proteins and this is also correct so according to the according to the question which is the incorrect one its option c is the incorrect one and it is our answer hope you like this video thanks for watching